Okay, a little bit more on the exam. Uh, the exam questions how to um, tackle, approach, attack uh, the questions. Now, <clears throat> this is uh, this is a difficult exam. This is uh, probably the hardest exam that you will ever face. Um, and a lot of the questions are going to look very weird because they've got a difficult task to do. This exam is not just looking at, uh, have you read the book? Have you memorized a bunch of facts? No, it's looking at, do you have experience? Do you have the right attitudes to security? Do you understand the foundational principles and can you apply them? in a variety of situations. Um, it's going to test some of your technical knowledge, yes, but it's really looking at do you have the proper judgment? Do you know? Can you apply critical thinking uh, and analysis to a given situation with respect to security and, and the fundamental concepts? So that's, you know, that's not an easy task. And so some of the questions that you're going to face are very weird. In particular, uh, sometimes you are going to be faced with uh, a question and the possible answers, the four possible answers, are all right. Uh, sometimes you are going to be faced with a question and the four answers that you are presented are all wrong and uh, <laughs> you know that's that's not a stupid question that is a question that is looking very carefully at your choice uh, what choice are you gonna make from that so first of all don't fight the questions uh, you know don't look at a question and say this question is stupid no that's not gonna get you anywhere you gotta Answer all the questions. Oh, and that, that is another thing. Answer all the questions. Don't skip questions and just say, oh, let's go on to something else. Um, answer all the questions. Now, uh, you, generally speaking, may have an option to go on if you're, you know, if you really don't want to look at that one right now, uh, go on and then come back to the question, uh, particularly if it's paper, but even on the the computer-based systems, but just, you know, make sure that you understand um, what you're faced with, how to get back to a question, that sort of thing, and do answer all the questions. Don't leave any questions unanswered at the end of the exam. Uh, you don't get marks off for wrong answers, but you don't get any marks if you don't answer. So, um, anyway, answer the question that is asked from the answers that are provided. Don't think, oh, they should have worded this answer or this question this way. No, they worded the question very carefully. And so, you know, make sure that you understand the question that is asked and what it means as it is written. And then answer from the answers you are given. Don't think, oh, well, the right answer to this isn't given in this list. Tough. You gotta, you gotta answer from the options in front of you. Uh, again, this is not, you know, they didn't make a mistake here. They are being very careful in ensuring that they understand how you approach a given situation, how you think about security. And so, you know, those questions that you think are dumb, that's actually the important questions. So, uh, don't fight the questions. Answer the question that is asked from the answers that are given. Okay, when you have the situation that you've got four right answers, you've got to pick the best answer. You can't just, you know, pick one, oh, they're all correct, it doesn't matter which one I pick, no. You pick the one that is the best, and the best is going to answer the question most fully. 
it has the broadest possible application. So you've got uh, some, you know, question, and and four of them are right, but they deal with you know specific, limited technical uh, details or situations, uh, and one of them applies more broadly to more people, to more situations, to more companies, that's going to be the right answer. Uh, now, there's, there's other options here. Um, uh, another one, uh, way to look at it, when, particularly when you're presented with four right answers, uh, and, and this one... <laughs> I gave to a, a friend who had an awful lot of experience, but was absolutely terrified about the exam. And of course, he passed. And, and after he did, we discussed it. And he said, Rob, what you said, that applied to 10% of the questions. And what I had told him was, when you're faced with the situation of having four right answers, you pick the management answer. Pick the answer that a manager is going to be thinking of. That, um, you know, you are supposed to be a professional. You are supposed to think in this overarching strategic way. So pick the management answer. Uh, when you've got, you know, four right answers, very often, as, as I say, he said 10% of the questions. Um, that's that's the way it's decided. Uh, you know, it's it's not that this is not a technical exam. You're gonna you're gonna have technical questions, but it's also about management too. You are supposed to be a professional. You are supposed to be a handle these more difficult situations. So, um, also, when you get uh, a question and you're presented with four wrong answers. And, you know, a very similar situation. And in this case, um, one of uh, my colleagues uh, says, you, you pick which answer stinks the least. Um, you know, which is the least bad answer? You, you got four wrong answers. Which one is, is the least worst uh, of the bunch? Um, as I say, you know, Four right answers, pick the best. Four uh, wrong answers, you know, which one stinks the least? So uh, apply that in those situations. And uh, once again, you know, don't fight the questions. Don't fight the exam. Um, they know what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> uh, they, they have, you know, some very skillful people with, you know, good educational backgrounds in, in tests and measurements have, have very carefully crafted this stuff. And, uh, you know, do not fight a question. You may think it's a stupid question. It's probably actually pretty smart. <laughs>